Hi, I'm Margaret Martin at Mueller Guide, and today's vlog is dedicated to finding the right yoga studio and yoga teacher if you have low bone density or osteoporosis. So, these tips um, I'm going to put out there right away are uh, modified from tips that were given by Matthew Taylor, who is a fellow physical therapist and yoga instructor. So, first tip is the school that you select should specifically ask you to complete a health history, and that health history should include health questions about your bone health. Two, your health history isn't going to help anybody if it's just tucked away. You make sure that the teacher or teachers that you choose to practice with review your health history. And one extra thing that Matthew didn't mention, but make sure that that teacher understands what osteoporosis means. And so this is really critical. I studied my yoga teacher training in the capital of Canada and my yoga teacher was very um, well recognized within the, uh, si the city of Ottawa and even her instructor that came in from the states was also very recognized um, in her um, state. But both of them when I questioned them about their knowledge of osteoporosis confidently said oh totally understand osteoporosis and then went on to describe to me osteoarthritis two very different conditions with very different contraindications and precautions. So ensure that you are practicing under the guidance of someone who understands your condition. Tip number three is the postures and the, when they're taught in the class should be given to you with detailed instructions. Props should be suggested and precautions made based on your restrictions and limitations uh, regarding your bone health. Four. Your teacher should be circulating and be giving you verbal and light touch corrections. Five, students should be encouraged to ask questions. The class should be um, encouraged to be comfortable in all their postures and control should be emphasized. This is especially true with balanced postures. So those are the five key tips on choosing the right studio and a safe teacher for you to practice your yoga. And one more really important tip that I have to share with you today is if you do practice yoga and you have not yet purchased Yoga for Better Bones, I have a new edition out that talks about some of the recent studies supporting yoga and bone health. So um, with that, I wish you a very good day. Namaste. I'm Margaret from Amelia Guide.